Of course, one of those buildings that was leveled tonight was the Starbucks you saw at the top of the show. No one was injured. News 18's Kayla Sullivan talked with an eyewitness who actually videotaped the building as it fell to the ground. He rushed for help shortly after. She joins us now with his story. Kayla? Brittany, Brandon Mobley admits he was probably a little too curious tonight. He describes what happened before and after a tornado ripped through Marklin Plaza. No brew coffee again. Brandon Mobley is seeing the bright side after he witnessed the destruction of this Starbucks in Marklin Plaza. He was working on the roof at Chili's restaurant just minutes before the tornado hit. And I was on the roof when I got the tornado warning alert. I looked around, I'm like, oh, there's no tornado. Well, about 20 minutes later, Everybody was running for their lives, and I mean, that tornado ripped through this parking lot. He managed to get this video while hiding behind the bar at Chili's. I literally watched the top of the Starbucks here peel off. Yeah, Starbucks just got blown over. There's people in there. As soon as it cleared, he rushed to help. I, I took a break and punched through the drywall just to communicate with them, let them know, hey, you're okay, we're going to get you out of there. And everyone did get out without a scratch. I have no idea how that happens. I really don't. When we look at some of the damage, I've just seen photographs of uh, uh, the Starbucks uh, coffee shop and there were no injuries. The sheriff's being modest there. I, I believe one reason we don't have a lot of injuries is due to the emergency systems in place. That manager was well trained, knew exactly what to do, grabbed the first aid kits. I mean, literally, there was three first aid kits in that bathroom with them in case the worst happened. Is it amazing to you that that, that much damage can happen so close? Yeah, I mean, absolutely. I mean, you can see Chili's. There's a few shingles and a couple of uh, shutters there. They're blown off, but uh, I, I was really lucky myself that nothing further happened to that building because I was not, not safe, not in a safe area at all. Indiana State Police say often after tornadoes, people will self-deploy and go to damaged areas to try to help, but they ask that you refrain from doing so. For the next few days, they want the streets clear so emergency crews can assess and assist where necessary. Governor Mike Pence is expected to be here tomorrow. He has offered to help Howard County in any way he can. We will continue following this story as the county recovers from the tornadoes. Kayla Sullivan, News 18. All right, thank you, Kayla. If you're in need in the Kokomo area, shelter has been set up at the Kokomo Event Center at 1500 North Reed Road.